Hello, everyone. I'm Kelsey Lemon, Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at VMware, and I want to welcome you to this overview video of the latest features in Skyline Advisor Pro. To begin, our latest update of VMware Skyline Advisor Pro requires that your collector be updated to version 3.3. And if you don't have auto upgrade enabled, let me show you how to manually perform the upgrade. First, log into the Skyline Collector web interface. And when a new version is detected, you'll see an option to manually perform the upgrade in the banner. And it's a three-step process. Step one, on the notification banner, click upgrade. Step two, select agree in the end user license agreement. And then finally, step three, click upgrade to start upgrading the collector. The upgrade process takes 15 to 20 minutes. And if you want to bypass the manual upgrade process in the future, you can enable auto upgrade within the Skyline Collector to allow the Skyline Collector virtual appliance to automatically check and upgrade when a new version of the Skyline Collector is made available. So now let's get to the good stuff. The latest release of Skyline Advisor Pro includes features that extend Skyline to hyperscaler provider production support and authorized service providers. We made the announcement at VMware Explore, and now it's official. We're bringing them to the table, so to speak. We've also integrated Area Operations for Logs, formerly vRealize Log Insight. We've made some Log Assist enhancements, as well as the ability for Skyline admins to restore deactivated accounts. So with that, let's just jump right in with Hyperscaler and Authorized Service Provider Support. Before this enhancement, Hyperscalers and ASPs did not have access to Skyline to help promote self-service remediation and issue avoidance SR reduction. So to resolve this, we've added two new account types in addition to Premier, Production, as well as Success360 for hyperscalers and ASPs that give these account types the same level of features and capabilities as production customers. The next feature is the integration of area logs. This integration is first evident in Skyline's dashboard where all of its connected endpoints are reported, as well as Skyline's inventory where you can view the name, version, build, products linked, as well as solutions and integration. And most importantly, Area Logs integration with Skyline allows you to transfer log bundles for Area Logs with Skyline's Log Assist feature, which dramatically streamlines the customer process of getting these specific logs to customer support. Then there are the two log assist enhancements. We've heard from our customers that they wanted to be able to define some advanced configurations that make uploads more customized to their specific issue at hand and streamline the data that they want to send for resolution instead of sharing everything without any controls or settings. So this release gives customers the ability to provide advanced configuration options for log assist actions for ESXi hosts, where users can exclude core dumps and include vCenter logs with the support bundle, as well as NSXT, where users can set the log age limit between the range of 3 to 30 days. Then there's the ability to disable log assist altogether on an organization level. Customers have told us that as a Skyline Advisor admin, they should be able to enable or disable log assist based on their company's policies to better control how they want to consume the Skyline service, as well as to adhere to company regulations. And finally, Skyline provides the ability for admins to restore activated accounts, which is really helpful for accounts that go into a disabled state or has exceeded the 60-day grace period from the account expiration date. So all an admin has to do is link at least one available account to restore access. And with that, this concludes the overview of Skyline's latest features. Start leveraging them today.